I am indeed honored to welcome you all to Enugu today on this occasion of the World Igbo Day for 2023. I am most excited to see this turnout of our brightest and best from our honored royal fathers to our eminent spiritual fathers in the clergy and of course my fellow governors and in the Bonine, whether here or following us uh, virtually as is normal nowadays. Our famous son, Chilo Achille, once said in his best seller book, Things Call Apart, and I quote, A man who calls his king's men to a feast does not do so to save them from starving. They have food in their own homes. When we gather together in the moonlight, village grand, it is not because of the moon. Every man can see it in his own compound. We come together because it is good for king's men to do so. And so it is that we, the Igbo, kids and king, have once again gathered here to interact and reason together. I must quickly commend the choice of Enugu for this event. As we all know, Enugu has played a central and consequential role in the history of not only the people, but indeed the history of Nigeria. Okay, Enugu came into being in the early 1900s, when coal was discovered around us. Enugu also became the administrative center in the, of the Southern Cookies in the 1950s. Subsequently, it became the capital of the Eastern region, which encompassed today, what encompassed today, Enugu, Akra, Ebon, Imo, Bayelsa, Abia, Rivers, Akwaibon, Cross River. After the Civil War, it remained the capital of the current Southeast states, then called East Central States. This essentially reconfirmed its positioning as a political homeland of Indigo. In this light, and I'm also very pleased to hear that the chairman, the President General for Hanez Indigo, has just confirmed here to us today that a wall of fame is going to be built here in Enugu to honor our past heroes. I think this is a heritage and a value that we must cherish. And I'm glad that this decision was made.